pyramids are fascinating structures. They stand on a square base and have four sides in the shape of a triangle tapering towards the sky. The sides meet at the top, creating a perfect geometric structure. The pyramids of Giza in Egypt are thought to be the oldest pyramids in the world, but recently pyramids up to 20,000 years old have appeared in the waters off the Azores Islands. Before we really dive into everything, make sure you hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with our future videos. Also, stick around until the end to learn about one of the strangest aspects of a pyramid that we've ever discussed. Pyramid Construction Worldwide The pyramid is a sacred or monumental structure that can be found all over the world. To this day, researchers can't explain why people thousands of years ago invested so much energy in building pyramids of all things. What symbolism is hidden behind the buildings? And above all, did they serve a specific purpose? All of these questions have remained unanswered to this day. We humans can only marvel at how our ancestors were able to erect monuments with the most precise measurements and dimensions using the most primitive technical means. In this video, we present 10 of these worldwide construction wonders, including the already mentioned underwater pyramids in the Atlantic. Monte da Codi, Sardinia Monte da Cadi is a megalithic structure built between 4000 and 3650 BC. Archaeologists understand megalithic buildings to be steeply rising, impressive stone structures. It was most likely built by the Ozier people, a prehistoric community that lived in Sardinia before the more well-known Nuragic people. Construction began around 3000 BC. After so many years have passed by, only the foundations have been preserved. Around 200 similar sites are spread across the island, most of which are attributed to the Nuragic people. These people, from the ground up, used incredible amounts of ordinary stones to form the walls and building-like structures. Because the pyramid was built by the progenitor culture, the Ozieri people seem to have even better architectural skills than the Nuragic people. Today, we can only marvel at such an impressive building because the people of that time probably didn't even have a straight-edge ruler at their disposal. So how were they able to build a geometrically perfect pyramid and what purpose did it serve? With this building, the remnants of which still stand in what is now known as Italy, researchers were able to find out that people around 3000 BC reconstructed the floors, which were later lost in a fire. The building probably reached a height of 10 meters when it was originally constructed. This makes the Monte da Codi pyramid the oldest pyramid building in Western Europe, but not necessarily the oldest pyramid in the world. Pyramid of Hellenicon, Greece In the plain of Argolis, there's a mysterious pyramid. The construction and style are rather rare for the early culture of Greece. Nevertheless, people in this part of the world also knew the pyramid shape and used it for a special building. The ruins, also known as the Greek Pyramid, are said to have once been 10 meters high. Today, unfortunately, only the lower parts can be seen. Despite painstaking research, archaeologists haven't been able to find out with certainty what the building was used for. Traces of grain and an ancient portrait indicate that it was used as a granary and as a military lookout tower, but the origins of the building could be much older. In a travel log in the area of Argolis, the Greek writer Pausanias mentions a polyandrium that served as a mass grave. Another source suggests that the structure was built to honor the dead of a historic battle around 669 BC. In all reality, we don't know for sure what purpose this pyramid may have served all those years ago. Only fragments of history remain from this nearly forgotten period of time. Because of this, we can't say for sure when the pyramid would have been built or who would have commissioned it to begin with. Whether it serves as a mass grave or something much more otherworldly will likely never be known. Nubian Pyramids 
Today's Sudan is home to some of the most fascinating and best-preserved pyramids in the world. They were built by members of the Kingdom of Kush, which played an important role among the Nubian people. The region connected directly to the kingdom and the pharaohs of Egypt in the south, and there were many different points of contact between the peoples. When the Nubian King Pie occupied parts of Egypt, he probably came into contact with their architecture and opulent burial culture. Although it's still highly controversial to this day whether or not Egypt's pyramids served as tombs, the kings of Kush seem to have been convinced of it. As a result, they copied the opulent style and built around 255 strikingly steep and pointed pyramids, which served as burial sites for high officials, kings, and queens. The time of origin is around 700 BC, and they would have been in use until around 300 AD. This makes them several thousand years younger than the great Egyptian models from Giza. It's important to note that all around the world, pyramids seem to have been used for burial purposes or for ceremonial reasons. However, as mentioned, the pyramids of Egypt have never been proven to have been used for these purposes. Underwater Pyramids Azores. In the 5th century BC, the Greek scholar Plato wrote a book about the legendary continent of Atlantis. It's said to have been in a large sea behind a strait that's now defined as Gibraltar. After an incident, this gigantic continent, blessed with great wealth, was drowned in the waves of the sea. Thus, the legend of Atlantis was born, and to this day it keeps archaeologists, historians, and mystery fans alike in suspense. So far, there isn't a single piece of evidence that Atlantis actually ever existed. However, there are some exciting finds both in the Caribbean and off the Azores. The Azores, belonging to Portugal, could have been the eastern spur of this Atlantic continent. The world was all the more excited when a diver found a pyramid in the waters off the Azores island of São Miguel in 2013. A wealthy yacht owner initially received disturbing signals from his echolocation. A pyramidal structure emerged on the seabed. Immediately, the man named Silva reported his discovery. In fact, a foundation of about 8,000 square meters could be found. The building is now 13 meters underwater. However, geologists and oceanographers are unsure whether the structure is actually man-made or the remnants of an extinct volcano. This area of the Azores sank under the sea about 20,000 years ago. The aforementioned sailor and explorer, meanwhile, found two other smaller pyramids. Whether these actually belong to the legendary Atlantis remains a mystery at the moment. La Quemada Votive Pyramid, Mexico La Quemada is part of a complex of gigantic stone structures believed to have belonged to and been built by the Aztec people. The whole complex shows buildings in different geometric structures, a columned hall, and other sacred buildings indicating a purely religious use of the complex. The unique oval-pointed construction is referred to in professional circles as a votive pyramid. However, the researchers also found less appealing evidence of the long-gone culture. The remains of human bones found there showed traces of cannibalism. Cruel human sacrifices were probably also celebrated here, and enemies were eaten in ritual ceremonies. Pyramid of Cholula, Mexico the Pyramid of Cholula is a world-famous stepped structure also located in Mexico. With a side area of around 55 meters and a height of 400 meters, it's significantly larger than the Pyramid of La Quemada. This structure is said to have been used as a temple and to worship the god Quetzalcoatl. Due to its gigantic proportions, the Pyramid of Cholula is the largest known pyramid in the world by volume. However, it doesn't quite reach the height of the Pyramid of Giza. Cholula, like almost all Mesoamerican pyramids, is tiered and has a stairway leading to the top. Monk's Mound Earth Pyramid, USA The largest pyramid in North America stands on the site of former Cahokia, 
Today, we know this area as the U.S. state of Illinois. Around 1100 AD, an indigenous people built one of the largest pyramids in the world at this point. Monk's Mound is now part of the ruined city of Cahokia near the city of St. Louis. The monumental building is the center of a collection of around 60 smaller mounds between 10 and 12 meters high. Monk's Mound itself rises over four terraces to a height of 30 meters. At the base, the huge earth wall is 220 meters long and 170 wide. Monk's Mound holds about 700,000 cubic meters of soil. Since the building has already been partially eroded away, its original height is uncertain. What is certain, however, is that it was used as a ritual place and temple by the people of the Mississippian culture. Tucumé Pyramids, Peru Tucumé is a pre-Hispanic site in Peru, south of the La Leche River, on a plain around Mount La Raya. The complex covers an area of over 220 hectares and includes 26 larger pyramids and a total of 260 smaller ones, which are believed to have served as burial mounds. Tucumé is now attributed to the Lambayeque culture. The pyramids were built in the period from 1000 to 1350 AD. The largest pyramid, called Huaca Larga, is also one of the largest pyramids in the world, with a floor plan of 700 by 280 meters. Koker Prang Pyramid, Cambodia Koker is a remote, fantastic ancient temple complex of the Khmer Empire. In northern Cambodia, temples, magnificent buildings, and a seven-story, 36-meter-high pyramid slumbered in the jungle for centuries until it was discovered by French archaeologists in the last century. The pyramid, known as the Prang, is the most striking monument of the complex. It was probably built by the Khmer king Jayavarman IV, who reigned from 928 to 941 AD. Originally, a huge lingam, more than four meters high, stood on the the top platform and was a symbol of male splendor and dignity. According to ancient writings, the lingam is said to have been the largest and most beautiful of the Hindu-Asian culture. Suku Pyramid John D. Suku from the 15th century is known in the professional world as the Erotic Temple. Built on the slopes of the mountain, the facility represents the cosmic balance of forces. At the entrance, there's a large lingam and a yoni, which stand for male and female sexual power. Behind the smaller pyramids is a third larger one, which is supposed to represent the divine itself. Teotihuacan Teotihuacan, the ancient city of Mexico, is an important testament to Mesoamerican history and a paradise for archaeologists and researchers. The area once belonged to one of the largest cities in the world before it was abruptly abandoned. In addition to the exciting history and importance of the pre-colonial period of the American continent, the city has become famous for its many temples and pyramids. The Pyramids of the Sun and the Moon are among the most impressive structures from that time time and dominate the historic townscape. In connection with some smaller temples, the construction of the city still poses some riddles today. It's not quite certain which culture was responsible for the construction and whether it was purely a place of worship or whether the pyramids simply blended into the cityscape. What is certain, however, is that building the pyramids was an impressive feat and gives a glimpse of what people were capable of at the time. Borobudur the temple complex of Borobudur is not only the largest temple in the Buddhist world, but also an impressive architectural masterpiece. Built in the shape of a step pyramid and in the famous mandala style, the temple was lost for many centuries before it was rediscovered in modern times in Indonesia. Today, it's one of the main tourist attractions in the country. And not only the actual construction of the temple, which was covered by volcanic ash for many years, is impressive. It's it's above all the many reliefs and decorations, which are well-preserved due to this fact that attract visitors. The sanctuary is now used again by Buddhist priests and can be visited by tourists at the same time. The work continues, and more and more parts of the former center of the Kingdom of Java are being uncovered.
delivered in this way. This brings us to the end of this journey of the most exciting, beautiful, and unique pyramids on Earth. Tell us how you liked the video and what you think about the buildings. Do you think people had something special in mind when they built pyramids, or are these structures just coincidence? We look forward to your opinion and your contributions to the topic in the comments. It's clear to see that pyramids once served a very important purpose in the ancient world. What's truly mysterious about the world's many forgotten pyramids is how these structures seem to have been littered across various areas of the ancient world. Pyramids have not only been found in more obvious countries such as ancient Egypt and Greece, but they've also been found in South America. One thing that historians can't seem to explain or agree upon is how such similar pyramids have been created in vastly different cultures all throughout human history. It would be understandable if one or two cultures had begun creating pyramids all those years ago. But how have so many different people constructed such eerily similar works of art on their own? This has led some people to believe that the only reasonable explanation is divine intervention. After all, if the purpose of a pyramid was relayed to the ancient peoples through supernatural means, it would certainly explain why such a large number of people knew about these pyramids, even though they settled thousands of miles apart. The true mystery of how these ancient pyramids came to be will likely never be completely explained. Thank you for watching. Click on one of the pictures and watch another exciting video. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. And to never miss new videos again, click subscribe and we'll see you again soon.